You link up with Young Mellow. Second year Mellow. Well, how cold was he? Boy could play, man. Like, just, so, <laughs> the year before I go, you know, you know, I guarded Mellow. So I, you know, I, of course I'm, do what I do here, rookie. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm making it known mm -hmm. that, that who I am. Bully him. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So now we, so that's, I saw him, he knew I was a free agent, saw him at All Star. He was like, shit, what you gonna do next year, dog? So he kind of put the butt, mm -hmm. like just mm -hmm. did it. After the season, then it, it happened. And so I go out there, he, they just made the playoffs, and he a rookie, they make the playoffs, come going to another playoff team in the West. Nah, it was, it was dope, man, seeing the boy development. Mm -hmm. He was still a kid. I'm saying, seeing his development. Like, he was very, very talented, man, score. Like, very. Mm -hmm. So, like, I I told somebody this, and somebody, they was like, wow, I never thought about that. I could have came to Denver with my chest poked out and demanded the ball. And, like, it didn't happen because they ain't who I am as a basketball mm -hmm. player. Like, I, if I, I could have probably stunted some of Melo's growth if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. If I was a selfish basketball player, mm -hmm. I could have came in and demanded the ball from day one. Listen, I need this many touches. I need mm -hmm. this. No matter what is going on, I don't give a I could have easily did that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But I let him be him. Like, I, I didn't need the ball for me to be me. Mm -hmm. I'm saying? That ain't never who I was. Like, I don't need to score. Like, that, I'm going to score throughout the course of just how I play the game. You know what I'm right. saying? So, no, nah, just seeing the way he could put that ball in that basket, man, effortlessly was... And his work ethic, man. Mm -hmm. Like he's like gym rat. Like always. Mm -hmm. No matter what it was, I mean, he's always working on that craft, man. So shout out to Youngin. Mm hmm 2009, you, uh, you get to be a, a two C with Melo, JR, Chauncey. How was that playing with them boys, linking up with them? 2009. That was dope, man. That was coming like, of course, you know what I'm saying? That was right after we had Chuck. You know what I'm saying, of course, I hate to see Chuck go. You know mm -hmm. how we feel about Chuck. Right. You know what I'm saying. So, but we traded with so with Chauncey come in and Chauncey was like a sigh of relief. Security blanket. Because of who we had as a handicap as a coach. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like so, Chauncey like didn't let him fuck it up basically. Right. Like I got this. So Chauncey knew time score who need to do what. All right, he got everybody involved first. Of course, Melo go get his touches throughout the game, but that thing moving because Big Shot got to get his. Mm -hmm. But he making sure everybody else is getting theirs JR, throughout the first yeah. three, three mm -hmm. quarters. Of course, he gonna run something for Melo and all that. But and then in the fourth quarter, it's like fifteen take us home. Mm -hmm. So that was dope for him to be that. You know what I'm saying to be that vocal and to and to run the show. Mm -hmm. And that's what was the difference, man. Like having him there and. We were talented. Like, there was no doubt in our mind, man. 